Hey race fans, it is Puka here with Big Chris Simpson out of Iowa. And just a reminder, the reason I look crazy, got the rock in the head last night. So uh, welcome, Chris. Uh, yes. Many times seen you here at the USA Nationals. Uh, I guess your thoughts on the race last night? Uh, you know, it was, it was decent. It was our first night out in a new car. So we, you know, just had to kind of test the boundaries, how much to tighten the car up, how much to, you know, Early on, we were really good, and then the heat race, we were too tight, and then we didn't want to get it too tight for the feature, so kind of left it a little freer and just ended up a little too loose at the end, but uh, not bad. We felt good. Uh, track was pretty heavy in one and yeah. two, but three and four was kind of racy, so uh, let's look for more of that tonight. So give us the, maybe tell the story of the journey here with the new car and yeah. what you were in before. Uh, I was in Longhorns before, and then... Uh, I had been talking to Chris and Jimmy Mars a lot. Just decided to go that route. They're close to home. They're only about five hours away compared to all the other chassis builders, about 15 hours away. So I've always got along with them good. Uh, ran their cars from, I think, 2010 to probably 2014, 13, oh, somewhere around okay. there. So, oh, you know, I've known them for a long time. Really good people. Uh, you know, just decided to do that deal few weeks ago and a buddy of mine was getting a car built and he said I could have it because he wasn't going to race so I ended up getting Rodney Sanders car and uh, went up there Saturday morning got up there about two o'clock in the afternoon started working on it put in a couple late nights and got done Wednesday afternoon and went and tested at Mississippi Thunder Wednesday night and then came came over here Thursday so oh, okay tonight will be the second full night on it okay nice so let me go back, I mean, you know, like James Essex, Heartbreak Hotel. Let's go back to Jackson earlier this summer. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was my brother. Oh, that was your brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, was, I got the wrong one. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So what did he say about that? I mean, you know, he, so race fans, I mean, he, he, he led many laps in a world of all-out race. He ended up second. Yeah. Right, okay. So what did he say? Was he happy with second or was he just so disappointed he just could No, I think he was happy until he went and got the paycheck and seen how big of a, <laughs> how big of a drop the pay was. But, you know... Anytime you're up front with these guys, me and my brother both do this kind of, you know, we have a full-time job that we work. He does decals and then I work for the family business uh, doing all the purchasing for Five Star. So for us to be able to come out here and be competitive with these guys, it, you know, it means a lot to us and it kind of boosts your, boost, boost your morale a little sure. bit when you, you know, work as hard as we do and, and come here and compete with guys that do it for a living. So let's go back. How did you ever get started in a race car? Well, we grew up, always grew up at West Liberty, going to the races uh, every Saturday night, and uh, always go and watch Brian and Dave Burkhofer race, and knew a lot of people, and that's just what we did every weekend, so uh, my parents never really had a, a lot of money to do it. My step, my mom ended up marrying my stepdad, and he got us into go-karts, and we raced go-karts for up until I was 16, and then jumped into real cars when we were 16. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that that's kind of a little background. Now, have you? Did you? You didn't go full fledged into a late no, model right away, did you? No. They had like a uh, class called a pro stock. It was like a late model body and everything, and just uh, pretty much a spec motor. Okay. Um, so we did that for two years, three years maybe, and then we jumped up to late model after that. So when we first started, we just shared a car. I raced it on Friday. He raced it on Saturday, ah, and then okay. about that lasted about three, four C year, and then and then my stepdad ended up getting us another car, and then we both had our own car, so okay. uh, this kind of took off from there. You know, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing without sponsors. And they've, you know, I've, I've been able to get quite a few, and Chad's been able to get quite a few. So uh, without them, we definitely couldn't do it. Sure. Well, speaking of sponsors, you were an all-star for the Fans Fund this weekend, so congratulations to that. I mean, I was, what are your thoughts on that deal? The fans uh, I mean, fund? Uh, I don't think a lot of people know exactly a lot about it. Uh, it's pretty cool what they do. They just, you know, try and get 10 or 12 guys that might not come or that they know is coming that doesn't race full-time and doesn't have the backing to some of these guys. And, you know, gives, uh, you know, this year it's going to be a guaranteed two grand and I think 2,500 if you win the race so yeah. we start I think it said we start six in it yeah. tonight so if we um, if we don't make it through our heats tonight and we can race in that and finish up close we're up for a provisional tomorrow so yeah. uh, be 
you know, it's something to fall back on. Obviously, we never want to be in that situation, but with racing, you never know what's yeah, going right. to happen. Right. So, obviously, crazy year, 2020, COVID. You know, kind of how is your schedule laid out versus what, you know, maybe you sat down whenever you planned, February, March, whatever. How has things kind of gone, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, it was started off really slow, obviously. We got a test in, like, before COVID hit. And then, like, the week after we tested, COVID hit, and we were kind of on staying still for a while. And then it seems like now it's just all the races are scheduled on top of each other. So it's like, yeah. it seems like every weekend we're gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday racing. So, uh, you know, it's been hard on, you know, we got to spend a lot of time at home early on, but now we're gone every weekend. So it, it didn't really make it any easier for us because it seems like we're gone more now you know, for three, four day period of time compared to before, you know, you'd be gone two nights and then back home. So obviously you're an Iowa guy. Do you have any insight on the late model, the Nationals at uh, Knoxville? Are, do, are they gonna go? Have yeah. you heard anything? Or? I talked to Lucas last week at I-80 and they said everything's a go. They're gonna open up the backstretch. Uh, it's a, they said it's a done deal. So they're gonna open up the backstretch. Obviously late models don't get near as many fans as them. Sprint car does, so they figured they could have it and oh. space everybody out and open the back stretch up. And so I, from what I understand, everything's a go. Okay. So besides that one, obviously you're gonna hit that one. What's kind of your calendar look like the rest of the year? August is pretty slow, really. We have a spec series that runs around home. Uh, it's a S. It's called the SLMR series by Kasiski's Do It. So we're gonna. Go do that next week. I think we're gonna hit Fairbury Wednesday, and then Friday is Davenport. Saturday is Davenport. I think it's a three and a three or a three and a five. So we just gotta change motors to do that. So we're gonna go do that. And after that, honestly, I haven't even looked. We <laughs> we've been so busy building this car this week. And my one crew guy on Wednesday was like, "Is it bad? I don't even know what day it is." And I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "But it is Wednesday, just so you know." So. Uh, you know, August slows down and then September picks back up. So we'll uh, try and finish the year. I, was, I would guess we have 10, 12 races left. So it's it definitely happened fast, but uh, you know we're looking forward for the end of the year. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for taking Thank some you. time. Good luck tonight. Good Appreciate luck the rest it. of the way. Thank you. Okay.